Welcome to episode 9 of Dalek Bump's Question Time. Doctor Who Hub asks, if you were to rewrite Remembrance of the Daleks, what would you change and why? And if you were making a new Dalek design, what new ability would you give it that we haven't seen so far? I honestly wouldn't change much about Remembrance of the Daleks, as it stands, it's a really solid story. There were a few scenes here and there that I feel could have been cut down, and it would have been nice to see more action showcasing how the Dalek Civil War is actually affecting Shoreditch. It's interesting to consider the fact that following the scene in the junkyard where the soldier is exterminated, we don't see any more on-screen exterminations in remembrance of the Daleks. The Daleks do cause some damage while attacking Coal Hill, but other than that they mostly stick to back roads and alleyways. As for a new Dalek ability, I think that there should be more going on with the midsection of the Dalek. One thing I really liked about the Recon Scout Dalek was that it was bristling with hidden weapons, missiles of different shapes and sizes, stored in its skirt section. If I could alter one aspect of the Bronze Dalek design in more, it would be to establish the idea that the little rivet looking things on the midsection are actually covers for small deployable weapons, sleeping darts, a gas attack that jets out in all directions or an EMP projector. Dalek Giratina asks, what is your favourite Dalek Commander or Supreme? Sek is my favourite Commander but he didn't technically hold the rank of Dalek Supreme, in which case my favourite has to be the one from the Stolen Earth and Journey's End. This might come as a surprise to those of you who've seen my review of Journey's End, and while I really don't like how the Daleks were handled in the latter part of this two-parter, the Dalek Supreme is by far one of the best aspects of this episode. The Stolen Earth is absolutely fantastic and the Dalek Supreme is a great part of that story with his grand reveal, his gloating over humanity defeat and his conversations with Davros, but for me, this Dalek becomes particularly significant in Journey's End. His conversation with the Doctor aboard the Crucible is by far my favourite scene of the entire episode. The Supreme Dalek's sadistic, smug speech to the Doctor about emotions, his cruel mocking of the Doctor as the TARDIS is supposedly destroyed in the Crucible core, and his brutal execution of Captain Jack truly epitomises everything that makes the Dalek so evil. This particular Supreme Dalek is without a doubt the best we've seen so far. Shame he was disposed of so easily. And that's the end of this episode of Dalek question time. I hope you enjoyed and you can leave your answers to these questions in the comments below. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the Garlic Bumps.